is where he resides. Hunting them at the far reaches of the Earth and beyond. And with him lies our salvation. Doom Eternal is the first new game I played this year. While there have been a couple of well-known releases so far this year, this was my first big anticipated game of the year. This is the sequel to 2016's Doom, a game that I wasn't really interested in because there hasn't been a good Doom game since the 90s, but then I picked it up on a sale and I played one of the most exhilarating first person shooters ever. And now, somehow, Doom Eternal has made every part of 2016's Doom so much better. This is my review. Let me start off by saying this game is not for the faint of heart. It's probably one of the most gruesome games you'll ever play. However, if you know me, you know I can't even say the word blood out loud without squirming in discomfort. But when it comes to video game violence, I am totally fine. No idea why, probably because my brain just doesn't register it with something real. Anyway, enough about me, back to the video game. The 15 hour plus campaign is really worth the price of admission, and it is an awesome thrill ride. There is a story, while it is way better than 2016's Doom, it is no Last of Us or God of War. It's simple. These demon-like aliens are ruling the world and you, known as Doomslayer or Doomgar, has got to put a stop to it by killing the Hell Priests and saving humanity. Look, you don't play these games for the plot, but rather the action, and boy does it deliver on the action. You have a large arsenal of weapons, each with their own attachments that change the weapon into a different kind of bullet that you unlock one at a time as the game progresses, each uniquely equipped to, to deal with a certain monster type. For example, you've got a floating head monster that wants to bite your head off, but you won't go down unless you waste all your bullets. But don't worry, you've got a shotgun that has an attachment that turns into a grenade launcher, and so just when the head opens its mouth to bite you, shoot a grenade in its mouth and watch as it has and digestion problems which opens you up to a glory kill. A glory kill is an epic animation that finishes off vulnerable demons. There are blasts to perform and with all the variations of variety, it never gets old. During the heat of battle, and believe me, these moments happen all the time because this game is a challenge, you have cool abilities that when used are only then usable again till the cool off timer finishes. Abilities like a chainsaw that when used on demons produces a splash of ammo or a burst of fire from a flamethrower that makes the demons burn off armor for you or a quick explosive paired with a dash when you're feeling overwhelmed and need to make a quick getaway. These aren't add-ons to weapons like in other first person shooters. If you don't take advantage of these abilities, you'll have a tougher time in beating the waves of beasts coming at you. Which means this isn't a mindless action game, it demands you to be fast and thick quick on your feet. The level of design isn't always so intense, it is nicely broken out by some good first person platforming. Usually it is a time to have a breather, stock up on ammo, find health or even go secret hunting. Secrets that could give you upgrades to your suits and weapons or even fun collectibles. These secrets are sometimes in plain sight, beyond some bars that begs you to try and find a way inside. Or they're just outright in some weird corner that you stumbled upon by accident. If you want to survive, you're going to want to look for these secrets. And lastly, what makes this game such an energizing thrill ride is the music. It's mostly meta rock and you wouldn't catch me dead listening to that genre of music. But it just works in the game. It makes your blood pump and your heart beat like a drum. But I can't explain it and to do it any justice, I just can't hear. And so just listen. So, to end off, this fast-paced game challenges you to keep improving on your methods of slaying. 
If you're too slow, it will leave you behind. But if you can keep up, the game will make you feel like a badass. So do yourself a favor and pick up this game if you want to play some excellent first person shooting that is so engaging that you won't want to put the controller down. You may need some therapy afterwards, but it's totally worth it. I give this game a 9 out of 10. The Slayer's time is now.